Hi everybody, this is Todd Oltoff from ToddOltoff.com coming back at you with another screencast. And this week we're going to talk about mobile accounts. Now mobile accounts are uh, set up uh, for those who have their home folders existing on the server, which as we've talked about earlier allows you to log into any computer and have your desktop show up on that computer uh, in your household. But for those of you that have laptops, that becomes a dilemma because once you take the laptop outside your network, then all of a sudden you lose your home folders because that information is stored on the actual server itself, not on your laptop. And so mobile accounts allows you the ability to have your home folders reside on the server, but also sync to your laptop back and forth so that when you leave the network, you can sync your changes back uh, to your server when you come back in and any, any changes that you make while you're inside your network gets, uh, are able to be synced onto your laptop so that when you leave everything is up to date and it's a seamless experience for your user. Now, as we get started, a couple of things just to remember and review uh, for those of you who may not have seen uh, previous uh, screencasts I've done. Uh, the first thing is you want to make sure that your home folder does reside on the server. Uh, so you come into your users pane here and you have the ability right here on your home folders to change them uh, to a folder on your server. You can make it local only or a home folder on your server and once you do that it will add uh, the home folder actually on your server. So you can do that right within the server application itself. Let me also just show you, let me put this down. I've introduced Workgroup Manager, and you can do the same thing in Workgroup Manager for your individuals as well. If you just click on your uh, individuals here, uh, pick one of the individuals uh, that you've got, go to their accounts, and if you come into their uh, home area right here, you also then would add a home folder here where you wanted their information to be sunk. And so that's what I've done here. Uh, it shows up as AFP, shows that the home folders are actually uh, in a folder called home folders. And that's how you set it up. You could just add it right from here if you wanted to and say create home folder now. And it would add that information for you for the particular user that you're looking at. So there's a couple of ways in which you can do it. And the reason I'm showing you on Workgroup Manager as well is because first, some of you may prefer to use that method. Also, as you'll see, um, you have the ability to set up mobile accounts here uh, in Workgroup Manager or in Profile Manager. Apple's moving everything towards Profile Manager, so that's going to probably be the preferred way to do it. But I just want to give you an idea of how both of those work so you can see uh, how they happen. All right, so that's how you would do it. You want to make sure the home folder is actually existing on the server. And you're going to want to check uh, also to make sure that your computer is bound to the server. And for those of you that missed my tutorial that I did on how to do that, let me just show you real quick. I've got a screen share with one of my computers. You want to go into System Preferences, Users and Groups. You want to go to the Login Options area, and you want to authenticate so the lock is off. And you'll see this Network Account Server Join area. And you want to click Join, and your server should be in the drop-down right here. Uh, you click OK. It asks if you want to trust it. Uh, you say, yeah, trust the server. Then it gives you the ability to put in a name and all that. So I'm going to change this uh, just to make it uh, look better when I look at it. Uh, for username, you want to put in your uh, admin because you're going to do a bind to this. So you want to do your uh, DR admin account. And that helps you not bind anonymously. So that's a... Uh, where you're binding to the server in a safe way, it's going to also add it into Workgroup Manager and bind your computer actually to your open directory. And you can see it's adding the server, updating the search path, and now as you can see with the little light here, I'm actually now uh, bound to the server, and so this computer now is showing up uh, on all of all of that information and things. So just wanted to show you kind of how that works so that you could see how, uh, how you bound to the server and got that going. So let me uh, pop this down here. And let's go through the different settings now and how to set up uh, the actual settings for the mobile accounts. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, actually start with Profile Manager so that you can see how it works inside here. And then I'll compare it to Workgroup Manager so you can see how they're similar. So when you come in Profile Manager, you're going to want to do it by users. You can, you can do it by devices if you want to, but it's easier to do it by users uh, because most likely uh, in a home environment, you want everybody to be able to log into the computer at different times, and maybe it's just you or a spouse or somebody like, somebody like that that you want the home folder to actually be copied onto the laptop. So I'm going to come in here, go to the General Settings here. You want to click Edit. And if you look right here, it says mobility. And we're going to click on that and we're going to configure it. 
Now, when you come into the configuration screen here, you've got three tabs. You've got account creation, account expiry, and rules. Account creation is basically another way for you to create a home folder, right? I showed you how to do it in the actual server app. You can also do it here. You could say create a mobile account when the user logs into the network. You can say require confirmation if you wanted to. Uh, before creating the account so that it says hey you know uh, do you want do you want to do this it kind of lets the user know uh, you can show the don't ask me again checkbox if you want uh, doesn't really matter it's up to you how you want to do this just gives you some customizations there then it says create your home folder using the either local home template so whatever is already on the computer that they've got or the network home and the default sync settings okay uh, the, what you've already got on the network and so you can check one of those depending on which you've done first right if you've already added the home folder on the network you'd click this one if you haven't then you would do this so that it would it would mirror the local onto your server uh, you can actually encrypt the contents with file vault if you wanted to and use the computer password or require a computer master password to make that happen you can restrict the size uh, that, that you want uh, for the home folders to be so that they don't get too big and take up all of the space on your server uh, you can also do it to the, if you don't want to do a f fixed size, you can do it as a percentage of the home network quota. So it gives you a couple of different ways that you can do it. Uh, again, encrypting with FireVault does slow the, slow the system down a little bit, so you might not want to do that. I'm going to leave that off of here. Uh, then you can say, where is the home folder location? And you can say, well, right now it's on the startup volume, so that's where we're going to do this right here. Uh, or it's at a path. Here's where it's located. You can put that down if it's on the server. Uh, you can allow the user to choose the volume, to choose a drive, that kind of stuff. And so you can really set up how this is going to work for the account to be created. All right, I'm going to check this off because I don't want to create a mobile account this time because uh, I've got one ready to go that I'm going to show you. Um, now let's look at the account expiry. Uh, you can also set this up so that it is a temporary situation. So you can set it up to delete the mobile accounts in so many different hours uh, after the user's last login, days or weeks. Uh, or you can say delete only after a successful uh, sync. And so it uh, gives you some options to kind of have the account actually expire. I'm going to leave that alone. And then you've got uh, rules that you set up. And this is where you kind of set up what you want synced and how you want it to go. And so you've got the preference sync. You can say the sync happens when do you want it to happen. At login, at log out, in the background manually. Uh, I usually like to leave all these checked just because it gives a bunch of different options for the sync to happen. You know, a user can sync it manually if they want to. It'll automatically sync at login or log out. That way no data is lost. And it'll do it in the background so they can keep working, but it's, it's happening in the background. Then you can pick the sync folders that uh, you want, and so it says files in these folders will sync. Um, you know, you've got your whole library and all that information. You can, you know, pick different sync folders you want. Uh, you can also skip certain items if you don't want certain preferences and things to be uh, to sync with the server. And then you can merge with the user's current settings if you want to, and uh, that's that's kind of how you set the preferences for your sync. Then you've got the home sync. And so again, this is for this is for your preferences, right? Now this is for your home fold for your home folders. And so there's the sync folder right there. It's got it at the tilde, so that's uh, root. So that's uh, basically all the home folder stuff that's going to be uh, uh, synced across. Again, you can add items here. You can also skip items, and again, you can merge. And again, notice we got the same settings here. So these are your preferences. This is your home sync, and then you've got options here as well. And you can say sync in the background either manually or every five minutes, uh, ten minutes, that kind of thing. And then this is important. You want to click this show status in menu bar because I'm going to show you what that looks like uh, when you set it up in the system. Okay. Okay, now what I want to show you is I'm going to show you how these look similar or different from Workgroup Manager. Let me just kind of see if I can get these close to each other so you can get an idea here. Uh, you'll notice that uh, when I come to Workgroup Manager, when I go to my user, uh, it has a preferences area. And you'll notice I've got mobility right here, right, just like I've got over here. And you'll see that I've got uh, a, a little arrow here. That means that this particular account is being managed and this service is operating uh, over here in in the actual uh, profile manager it'll say one payload is configured and that's how you can tell so if I click mobility over here uh, you'll notice the tabs across the top are the same as the tabs up here so if I just go like right now over there we're on rules if I go to rules and options you'll notice that uh, it's very similar 
uh, in terms of what uh, I can manage. There's a couple uh, extra things here in terms of managing never, once, or always. I have the option to set that up. Uh, not super important, just a little difference. Uh, you can sync, uh, you know, again, manually in the background every so many minutes. It just has a slider as opposed to just putting the number in here. Uh, so you can see that uh, a lot of these things are the same. These are the same. If I click Preferences here and Preferences here, uh, you can see how they look very similar. I've got the same kinds of things here and here. So you can set them up in either program, uh, depending on how you want to do that. But I just want to show you what that looks like so you can get a feel for it. Now, once you uh, have this set up, you would click OK, and it would set up the sync information and change it. Since I've already got one uh, set up, I'm just going to cancel this. And what I'm going to do is show you what this looks like over on my client machine. OK, here I am over on a uh, screen share of uh, my other computer that I'm setting up for the uh, mobile account. Uh, now, you can tell that everything's set up and ready to go by two things. Uh, first, in your accounts, if I just click here, uh, you'll notice that under the account area here, I've got mobile accounts now sitting right on top of here. i got a mobile account. If I just click Settings uh, here, what will happen is it brings a drop-down that set, shows all of the different things that the user can uh, do uh, with this. If you remember, I allowed the user to make certain options available so that the user can control some of these things. So the user can set you know, how, however many minutes or, or seconds or whatever that they want, uh, not seconds, but however many minutes they want this thing to sync. Uh, they can have it sync automatically, every so many minutes do it manually. They can click a Sync Now button to make that happen. They can say whether they wanted it log in or log out. Uh, they want their home folders uh, sunk. They can also just say, hey, I only want selected folders to sync because I gave that ability. Uh, you can limit that if you want to so that some of these things are grayed out and can't be used. Uh, also showing the status in the menu bar. Let me just uh, cancel this for a second. What that is, when you see that little item there, you'll notice right up here the little houses that are now set up up here. And this is the home sync. And so if I click on this, you'll see that it tells me the last time I, I, I sunk this computer. And it'll also allow me to sync now, and then it gives me the mobile account preferences, which if I click that, it'll actually just take me right over here to where I showed that to you. Okay, so it'll take you right into system preferences and take you right to where you want to be. So now that this computer is set up, we can do the syncs anytime we want. And so if I just click this sync home now, it will start the actual syncing process. And you can see this little status bar comes up here. It's checking uh, my folders here to see if there's anything different, and going through the different things and starting the sync. Now I can stop it whenever I want, but right now what's happening is this computer is actually syncing its home folders and any changes it has back to my server on the network. And uh, so as you can see, it's a pretty uh, efficient way to do that. Uh, it works out pretty well, and it's a great way to be able to have your home folder sit on your server, yet still have access to those things when you're away from home and you need to take your laptop away uh, outside your network. Well, that's all I have for you this week on how to set up mobile accounts. I'll be back at you next week with another screencast to help you learn how to do more things with your Mac.